Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had every warrior in the world, smash that subscribe button. Go and have them smash you right now. First and foremost, shout out to all the patrons. I love you. The number has grown astronomically. You are the heartbeat of this channel. At 6 p.m. today, Pacific Standard Time, We'll, I'll be doing a question and A over there, man. So if you're not already on that Patreon, consider joining, man. Consider joining. That might be the only way of communicating in the near future. I don't know yet. We'll, we're going to see how it goes. With that, this episode right here, man. An after action report. An AAR. Nah, fucking saliva. An after action report. What is that, Hector? Well... In the military and in law enforcement, if there's a major incident, what should be done is you gather all the troops and you have an after an AAR, after action report. You ask them, hey, what did you see? What happened? What could we have done better? Right. What went wrong? <laughs> what went good? And then you learn, you take notes for the next time something similar or identical happens. You already have that homework done. The study guide, so to say. So. Approximately one year and six months later, a year and a half, approximately, did we, we, W-E, accomplish what we set out to do? I think so. For sure, I think so. And here's why. The last couple days, I've been kind of like, not without a topic, but yeah, kind of without a topic. I mean, sure, I could have talked about something dumb, but I'm not going to talk about anything dumb. But it's like, okay, well, maybe that's a good sign, right? I just got out of the shower right now. <laughs> Smell good. Uh, maybe that's a good sign with the California Department of Corrections, man. Did they finally get their stuff together where they now mind their P's and Q's, follow the policy, the rules, the law, the procedure, starting from Big Jeff all the way down to the lonely officer in housing unit 14 at RJD. It's wishful thinking. Was I naive enough to think that those people at the top would get held accountable for their wrongdoings? Yeah, I thought they would for sure, man. I thought the FBI was going to just throw Jeff on the floor and kick him in the nuts, put some handcuffs on him, put him in the back of the paddy wagon. I, I thought so, right? Would have been good. Would have been a good happy ending. But what about this ending? Remember when I first came on scene, you guys are like, Hector, be careful, be careful, man. Te van a matar. Be careful. They have a habit of making people disappear who speak the truth. Be careful. Are you, will, are you willing to lose it all, my boy? But you guys didn't know me then, right? So you guys were concerned. Me? Yeah, absolutely. I'm willing to lose it all over and over and over again. <clears throat> so what do you want to call it? Like a WrestleMania match? The main event? A main event of a Mike Tyson fight? You had two entities. You had Hector Bravo. And the massive following of warriors, right? This whole movement versus the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation and the corrupt management. <laughs> was, it, was it a win? Was it a lose? What is it, was it a draw? That's how you look at it, man. I'm going to tell you guys from my perspective. I feel, no, I know. In my heart, I've already said everything there is to say, right? There's no, nothing ever going to talk about. There's nothing will ever top covering up a murder, right? CSP sack. Nothing will ever top that, right? It doesn't get much worse than that. Nothing will ever top whatever happened in SCC when the inmate was hanging out in the control booth having his way with the female CO with a mini 14. Like, nothing's ever going to top that, right? So, Hey, what do you think? I'm going to come on here and talk about daily staff assaults? Nah, that st daily staff assaults are part of the business. Let me be the one to tell you. <clears throat> Murders are part of the business. Riots are part of the business. Gassings. Um... So, am I content? Yeah, I'm content. The word content? Yeah, I feel like, okay, well, fuck it, man. What am I going to do? Right? What am I going to do? Sit around... Am I going to, and I, t I think I said this yesterday on the live, am I going to sit here for 10 years and just talk, beat a dead horse, right? Beat a dead horse. No, absolutely not, man. And here's the thing. First and foremost, I got to give the credit where the credit is due. The credit goes to all of you guys. And watch what we did. 
Wa- watch what we did. I knew what I was doing, right? Because was, I'm was. i very strategic with it. The art of war. I'm very strategic with it. So I knew what I was doing. Who did we have a line to take, to go up against the California Department of Corrections? This is who we had a line. Believe it or not. You pat yourselves on the back. This is great. This, let this be a message to any other corrupt organization. We had green. We had blue. We had the family members of blue. We had the family members of green. And we had free staff, medical and mental health. All collaborate, collaborate, is that what they called? In unison against one entity. They have never in their whole history of the department ever faced that. That was beautiful. That was great. And every angle we hit them from, it was fucking, it was a masterpiece. It was a masterpiece. And that's a, a microcosm. I stole that word from you guys. I learned a lot from you guys along this journey too, man. I learned, fuck, I, I, pro- I probably learned more from you guys than I've been dishing out from everybody. Wh- what did I learn, man? I learned about CYA. What is that called where they had the, uh, where they made the little juveniles be on their knees for like 72 hours? That was crazy. TD gym or something, TD torture. I learned about the 90s. <laughs> I learned some old school prison stories, man. They're throwing everybody throwing each other off the tier. Hookamaniac style. <clears throat> I learned so much from all of you guys, man. But this is what did not sit well with me. For the last year and a half, man, I've been preaching positivity, positive messages, a healthier way of living a healthier way of thinking, and how to successfully navigate, maneuver, and hopefully leave a toxic situation. Not leave, more so how to navigate right a toxic situation. And going by views and likes, you know, the little like, you know when you see an Instagram post and you hit a like, right? It gives you like a little thumbs up or some shit. Those messages got nowhere near, nowhere near the reception of the ones where I'm taking shots at people, talking shit about people, making fun of people. Yeah, so just so you guys know, that's not my style. That was never my style, okay? So how do you think that makes me feel like over here? Like, I, I want these people to do better, and here they are, like, they think, these, they think this shit is fucking funny, right? All this, like, putting, putting the partners on blast. Did they have to be put on blast strategically? Yeah, they did. Right? Now everybody's terrified to take a picture in CDCR. Good. Rightfully so. That's why I had kept telling you guys, man. Listen up. Take notes. Pay attention. Right? I said things, I said things like I'm not going to be around forever. Because I was hoping that you would adopt those t- those gems, those tidbits of knowledge, wisdom through my all my experiences. There's not one thing I spoke on that I had not experienced myself. There's not one thing. <clears throat> all your guys' contributions made this possible. Trust me. You guys supported my family. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Is the expectation for anyone or everyone to follow my footsteps and do exactly what I did? Absolutely not. I think I mentioned not too long ago, I said, don't do what I did. Do not do what I did. And here's why. I'm a normal dude from Brawley, California. Because of my experiences and my proper training, my sobriety, my my current state of mental health, my spiritual, my emotional grounding, my financial stability prior to resigning, because all the stars aligned, right? I was able to leave, right? Think about... All the people that cannot leave. Well, why? Because you're drinking on the weekends with your coworkers. I keep telling you this. And I, 
from here on out, the messages are solely going to be positive, right? Solely. So if you want to stick around for the ride, please do so. Because I am not, I am not bashing CDCR anymore. I'm not. I am definitely not. I gave you guys the blueprint. If you guys want some, uh, what do you guys want? Clown jokes or whatever, you can go to the late relief. You can go here, you can go there. But I highly encourage you to change your way of thinking. Do better, get better, mature yourself, and help others. Period. I'm going to leave it at that. Right? That's how I truly feel in my heart. With that, this episode was sponsored by the following patrons. I love you guys. A la verga, 209. Brian, the loan specialist. Semper Fidelis, do it. They, Semper Fidelis, we do as they tell us. Can you sign my 103? Frank, Mark, Darlene from Santa Ana. F your mandates. Write me up. VSP Yeti, Sabatino, Adalberto, Ken84. Any reason I can't hold you. Fontaine, Dixon, Mercari, Nasty Nick, the Corcoran. Atrocious, MLOC87. Kevin, program time. Steve, heck, why are you wave your hands like this? Hey, I'm just medical. Do burpees. Brianna, Carnalito, treatment not time, no shirt, no shoes, no day room, and force fit, fishing is life, don't take my blue card, Sergeant, Gigi, Vinny Melapela, Santa Barbara County, partner, get my six and pop me back in, Don Chicharo, shut the F up and make it wink, Calaverga, 760, Scorpio Rising, Miss Rod, Geo, G-Ride, Vote News come out, the prison psychologist, Fuerte 84, Zeus, Michigan Wolverines, I have an eight-hour Corano, put me out six self, Jack, me off, a wall like Monty, one bad yard pedal, Cherokee Cat, Loco Moco, the big bad wolf, Raider 62, L. Eli, Gerardo, Steven, Rigo, Westy, Pelon, Eric, not on my watch, who's doing the pipe, Denise, the real McCoy, Jay, a pogue in the six-pack, Keith, Devil Dog, Ricardo, Maladjusted, Bankroll, Suave, Carmine, the Pitbull, American Mestizo, Lori, 559CO, Ruben, CJ Zavalza, EOP Whisper, F your 602, Las Vegas, Slice Live, Viva, Mexico, Cabrones, Forbidden Fruit in a Jumpsuit. I don't know why, bro, I got a fucking visual. And the taste of that. Pre of these nuts. Lockdown 5. Crystal Ball La Reina. Mandatory Yard. Get the fuck out. Those two are my favorite ones right now. Winston. Tony. The Mexican Snowman. El Skid. Hobie Cat. Lead with Love. Elver 12. I didn't get mustard or Kool-Aid in my lunch. I didn't get mustard or Kool-Aid in my lunch bag. <laughs> okay. Top three fucking favorites. It's a ridiculousness. Yeah, it's J.I. Esquiel. Hey, I love you, Esquiel. My book has been riding since day one. Like a lot of you else have. Big Bad 48. Nova. Nova's been riding since day one, man. Shout out to my day oneers. Linda. God, I love you guys. The retired CO has been a ble- The retired CO is an angel, right? God sent the retired CO, the, the retired CO period. Mikey559, the homie Marius from Connecticut. Chevelle 66, Crispy Nuts, Bad Karma, and the homie Rags. I love you guys. Trust me, let's do better, get better, help others. And look, man, if we fucking got the attention of the California Department of Corrections, we can totally get the attention of the world. With that, I love you. Keep pushing forward.